but experts are warning that scammers might use those photos to steal your personal information. Good morning, El Paso's Madeline Audley joins us live from a city vaccination site to explain what we all need to know. Good morning. Mauricio, good morning. The problem really lies with these COVID-19 vaccine record cards. Now, we've all seen the photos of these across social media, but with your full name and your birthday in plain sight, you're giving scammers easy access to information that they could then use to steal your identity. Officials with the Better Business Bureau say there are already organizations out there that are collecting a lot of information about you on a regular basis. Now, these extra pieces of information can help them build a more full picture of you. They urge you to avoid posting any personal information online. Plus, keep your social media channels private because when organizations collect enough data, a scammer might be able to steal your identity or even hack your bank accounts. It's devastating often from a financial perspective, um, a, uh, it's demoralizing, it's, um, and talk about the amount of time and energy that it can take to get these things repaired is enormous. And so you just wanna do everything you can to avoid the circumstances. Now, if you suspect you've been the victim of a scam, you're going to want to contact your bank immediately. And if you're still eager to share the news that you got the COVID-19 vaccine, there are a few safe ways you can do it. You can post a status update. You can even post a photo or a selfie, so long as it doesn't include posting one of these. Reporting live outside the convention center, Madeline Otale, good morning, El Paso.